Welcome to the Digital Photography Podcast Video Edition number 18 for Friday, February 15th, 2008. Well, in the next couple of uh, podcasts, I'm going to be reviewing uh, Alien Skin's Image Doctor 2 plugin for Photoshop. So what I'm going to do in each one of these little short videos is just use one of the features of uh, image doctor 2 and show you how it works and how well or not it works so here we got a picture of uh, some trains in Palm Springs and the only thing about this image that kind of bothers me is this fence across here I don't like that so what I'm gonna do is just real roughly select the fence so it'll just take me a few seconds here and we're going to use one of the plugins from Image Doctor 2 to remove that fence. So what we do here is go up to Filter, Image Doctor 2, and go to Smart Fill. And this will just take a few seconds for it to attempt its best try to get rid of that fence for me. And we'll see what happens. Now, I've already done this once, so I know that the initial try, when it tries to do it on its own, it's not going to be very successful. See, that's what it came up with. Okay, that's not so great. So what we do here is we just switch to manual source selection, and I bring this box down here, and just select some of the desert sand. And it's already working using that selection that I just made. As you can see, the status bar down here is moving across. So we'll just wait and see what it does. That's pretty amazing, I think. Just click OK and deselect. Now that's done a pretty darn good job of removing that fence and filling it in with the desert sand. That's just one quick example of what can be done with Image Doctor 2 using the uh, Oh, geez, what did we call that again? Smart Fill, I think. Yes, Smart Fill feature. Now, this image could be, uh, you know, edited a little more. We could play around with it and do a few more things. But right away, uh, just straight out of the box, it looks like it did a pretty decent job of getting rid of that fence for me. So based on that one feature so far, I'd say that Image Doctor 2 is uh, doing its job pretty well. We'll get into the other features of this program or this plug-in in future episodes.